Blockchain networks are on the verge of a huge leap forward. In this video, we will delve into blockchain scalability issues and show how application-specific rollups are one of the ways to open up a new design space for Web3. The first thing we need to understand is computational scalability. In conventional computing, the CPU is responsible for executing all programs and their logical operations. Today's computers are packed with multiple CPUs and efficiently manage operations in parallel. Yet, each individual CPU can only execute one operation at a time in a step-by-step -step process. Because CPU has a finite processing capacity, the operating system plays a fundamental role in distributing its resources among myriad programs and applications. Picture the operating system juggling time slots of each CPU, making sure all applications remain responsive to user interactions. This mechanism is called scheduling. Now, let's jump to Ethereum. Ethereum's goal was to become a worldwide computer. It first stepped onto the scene as a monolithic blockchain, which was akin to a computer powered by a solitary CPU. Similar to CPU scheduling and operating systems, on Ethereum, blocks serve to limit the number of operations that the Ethereum virtual machine CPU performs per unit of time. Not only that, the blocks give these operations a precise order for execution. Ethereum's original restriction to a single CPU was by design. Why? Because to achieve consensus, every Ethereum node needed to rigorously execute the same operations, verifying the results of the other nodes in the network. However, Ethereum's consensus design imposed tight processing constraints. Too tight considering its goal to be a global computer with an unlimited number of applications and users. Imagine every application and user on the network competing for the attention of Ethereum's sole CPU. When user activity spikes, users engage in a tug of war for block space. The transaction fees become unpredictable, sometimes skyrocketing. In extreme cases, an event happening in a single application throws the network into chaos. That has happened in events like minting prized NFTs or kicking off popular airdrops. To make the scaling issue worse, the tug of war wasn't only about processing resources. That's because, as a global computer, Ethereum should not only have a CPU, but also work as a decentralized memory and storage system. This way, within the confines of each block, there's a tight squeeze between execution and data storage demands. If you ramp up the data, you compromise space for logical operations and vice versa. Recognizing this bottleneck, Ethereum made a strategic pivot in 2020. It embraced a roll-up-centric approach, focusing its efforts on making data cheaper and scalable, leaving the computational heavy lifting to roll-up projects. This move cast Ethereum in a new light, making it a superior consensus and data storage platform, leaving roll-up chains to deal with computation. We entered an era characterized by modularity. Ethereum is not a monolithic blockchain anymore. It is an ecosystem of roll-up chains striving for specialization while inheriting the strong security guarantees of Layer 1. Fast forward to 2021, and roll-ups were gaining momentum with projects like Arbitrum and Optimism paving the way. But there's a remaining problem. These roll-ups are still shared among all dApps that participate in their networks. This led to multiple dApps competing for common CPU resources again. So we're back to square one. This shared approach to roll-ups brought echoes of Ethereum's early hurdles. DAP users found themselves fighting for block space, causing transaction fees to once again fluctuate unpredictably. Just like the original monolithic Ethereum, shared roll-up chains reintroduced scarcity, rendering them inaccessible to all but a few users and applications. The fee unpredictably stalls innovation, narrowing the focus predominantly to DeFi use cases like decentralized exchanges and lending platforms. Yet, the horizon is changing with the rise of application-specific roll-ups. Application-specific rollups like Cartesi rollups solve this problem by taking the processing needs of each dApp to its own dedicated optimistic rollup chain. This gives them unparalleled processing power while keeping the strong security of the Ethereum blockchain. In this new paradigm, dApps no longer wrestle for shared resources. Instead, each claims its dedicated rollup and CPU. This arms developers with more computational resources and lifts the weight of optimizing gas costs or cutting corners on user experience. The advantages of application-specific rollups continue beyond there. In the case of optimistic app-specific rollups based on fraud proofs, the computational gains are so pronounced that new blockchain virtual machines, such as Cartesi's VM, can boot a real operating system. They can run complex software not previously dreamt possible on blockchains. The game has changed. 
This newfound freedom opens doors to an array of possibilities, from autonomous world gaming to decentralized social platforms and sophisticated governance systems. App-specific rollups aren't just another scaling solution, they're in a category of their own. They're the way to add more processing power to Web3 and let builders work on projects that rival Web2 applications. Learn more about what can be done with app-specific rollups over on the Cartesi website, cartesi.io.